Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this look right here. This is my go-to glam look. So if you guys had not noticed, I moved. I'm in my new apartment in Sydney. I'm still like figuring out the lighting situation. So I'm sorry if I look a bit green right now. I should have it sorted by next video. But being in Sydney, I've been going to a lot of events. So I've sort of like fallen into this like go-to glam makeup that I do, which is this. I wore it a few times on my Instagram and you guys requested it so much, so I figured I'd sit down and film it. So yeah, if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Oh, also, I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but there's construction outside. If you guys can hear it and it's like distracting, let me know in the comments and I'll like invest in a lapel mic. So yeah, let me know. So I've already primed my eyes and yes, I know I've got a red spot on my nose. It's distracting me too. <laughs> So uh, for eyeshadow, I'm going to take my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette, the Sweet Peach palette. It is very loved. It doesn't like close properly and it's mega dirty. <laughs> but I'm going to grab a Sigma E40 brush and I'm just going to go in with Puree. Oh, this palette smells so good. And I'm going to blend this into my crease as a transition color. I always forget how pigmented it is. So make sure you tap off the excess, unlike what I did. <laughs> So we just want to blend that in with windscreen wiper motions. You guys know the drill. Next up, I'm going to switch to a Sigma E25 brush and I'm going to go in with Charmed, I'm sure. Just up in the corner here. And I'm going to blend this into my crease as well, but not take it as high up as we did with Puree. Uh, just to create some depth into our crease. This is my first time filming a talk through video in my new apartment and there's an airplane and I also can't really tell the lighting situation right now like I feel like I might look really green. I'll figure it out. Just bear with me for this first video whilst I figure everything out. I sort of took this color down to the outer corner but I didn't really mean to. <laughs> Next up we want to take a flat shader brush. This is a MAC 234. 239 brush and I'm just gonna spray some fix plus onto my brush and then I'm gonna go in with the shade luscious you can sort of see uh, the half of the eyeshadow where I've used the fix plus so I'm just gonna dip my brush into that and then I'm going to apply this to the first half of my eyelid and I'm gonna do like a half cut crease with this see how the fix plus just turns it into like this amazing foiled eyeshadow I love it So if you have trouble uh, cutting your crease, use like a little precision brush. This is the MAC 231, but I've done this look so many times, I'm pretty okay with just using like a flat shader brush. And we just want to do the other eye as well. Next up, I'm gonna switch to a clean flat shader brush and I'm gonna take the shade Cobbler. So I'm just gonna take some and pack this onto the, the outer Oh, it's probably about the outer half of my eyelid and sort of just blend it over the top of that first shade. Luscious. See all that fallout? And <laughs> that's why we're doing our eyeshadow first. Then I'm gonna grab another Sigma E25 brush and I'm just gonna take some of Caramelized and I'm just gonna blend this into my outer V. Now you just want to take a clean blending brush and blend out any harsh lines. Now this is my favorite part, so I'm going to take the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. This is the shade Topaz Twinkle and I'm going to take the glitter. I'm obsessed with glitter right now. And I'm just going to take some on my finger. It does come like with a little brush, but I find that gets a bit messy. So I'm just going to... Ooh, Take some on my finger and then just dot it over the top of that light eyeshadow. Obviously you can add as much as you like. This also looks really good at night when the light hits your eyes and hits the glitter. It looks so cool. 
Next up, you just want to take some eyeliner. This is my favorite. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner. And I'm just going to line my top lash line. I'm not going to draw a wing or anything, even though that would look really pretty with this look. I just find like a straight line suits my eye shape better. Next up, I'm gonna go in with some mascara. I'm gonna use the Benefit The Real Mascara. This is my favorite mascara for when I wear false lashes because it just sort of like sticks really well to them. So I'm just gonna add this to my top eyelashes. Oh, now that I'm in Sydney, I can do more collabs with Steph. Who's looking forward to more Kef collabs? I am, I'm looking forward to it. If you have any collab requests, let me know in the comments. So now that our mascara is on, I'm gonna put on some falsies. These are the Coco Lashes Bella. Cool, so now that our lashes are on, we just want to take some makeup remover and just clean up any fallout. Very nice. Now we can move on to our base. So I'm gonna start off with primer, and the primer I have been obsessed with lately. Like, I didn't think I was gonna be obsessed with it, but it's the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover Primer. This one smells like coconut. It smells so good. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take some of this on my finger. You only wanna take a little bit, especially if you're like me and have oily skin. It's fine, this stuff is so hydrating without making my skin oily. I really like it. Next up, instead of going in with my foundation, I'm actually going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Do You Dew Drops. It's like a liquid illuminator. Usually I'll put this uh, like on the tops of my cheekbones on the top of my foundation, but the foundation I'm going to use doesn't really like to be mixed with liquids. So I'm just going to put this underneath my foundation. So a bit of radiance. So I'm just going to rub this in. This stuff also smells like coconut. Now onto foundation, so it's winter here in Australia and it is freezing in Sydney, so haven't been getting much sun, I'm a bit pale, so I'm going to mix uh, two of my Urban Decay All Nighter foundations, I'm going to mix shade 5 and shade 1.5. Normally I'm shade 5, but not right now. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand, just swirl them together with my beauty blender, real profesh, and then chuck it on my face. So I'm just gonna blend this all over my face with my beauty blender. I'm just gonna take some of the uh, Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer. Just put it on that dot that's on my nose. I feel like it keeps poking through. Very annoying. <laughs> and then to conceal under my eyes and to highlight my face, I'm gonna take another shade of that Smashbox Concealer. This one is light neutral. And I'm just going to put this under my eyes and down the center of my face as well. Then we just want to blend that out with our beauty blender again. Now we quickly want to set that so it doesn't crease. So I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent. And I'm just going to take a Sigma E, no, F35 brush. And I'm going to pat this on everywhere we put the concealer. I'm just going to take it up on the sides of my nose as well. Just to slim my nose a little bit. Being in my new apartment, I'm really worried like my neighbors can just like hear me talking to myself. <laughs> I know I shouldn't care, but I don't know why it bothers me. Probably thinking I'm some crazy lady. So to set the rest of my face, uh, I'm going to take this powder. The Benefit Hello Flawless powder. And I'm just going to take some on a powder brush and blend this into the rest of my foundation. That red dot still poking through. Should have used a green corrector. Next up is bronzer. I'm gonna take my beloved Too Faced uh, Sweethearts bronzer in Sweet Tea. And I'm just gonna take a Sigma F40 brush, swirl it on in there. And then I'm gonna apply this to like my cheeks and just around the outside of my face, just to bring a bit of color back to it. Jaw and forehead. And because my neck is looking like extra pale now, I'm just gonna chuck some bronzer on it. 
Next up, we want to contour. So I'm going to take the Zoeva Contour Spectrum Palette, and I'm going to take the uh, con and I'm going to take the contour shade just on a Sigma F05 brush, and I'm just going to put some under my cheekbones, and then underneath my uh, chin as well, just to get rid of this bit. I'm also going to contour my nose as well, so I'm just going to take like an angled blending brush and some of that contour shade and just lightly blend it. Wow, that was way too much contour shade uh, down the sides of my nose. It's fine, we'll just blend it out. Then for blush, I'm just going to take that same Sigma F40 brush and I'm going to go in with Benefits California. California? Yes. I'm just going to apply this to my cheeks. And for highlighter, I'm going to take my Mary Luminizer. I feel like I haven't used this on my channel in so long. I love it. So I'm just going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones, forehead, nose, cupid's bow, chin. And now we can finish off our eyes. So for our lower lash line, I'm going to start off by taking Puree on a pencil brush. Tap off the excess this time. Then I'm just going to smudge this into my lower lash line right up to my tear duct I'm just going to make sure it joins to the top eyeshadow then I'm going to switch to a smudge brush and I'm going to take a Charmed I'm Sure and I'm just going to smudge it into that outer corner and just blend out that top portion as well because I took it a bit high So for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to take a mixture of white peach and nectar just on another flat shader brush and just blend this in right underneath my eyebrow. And then I'm going to do the same uh, just with another pencil brush in my inner corner as well. And to finish off our eyes, we just want to grab some mascara. I love using the High Caliber Lash uh, by Sigma on my lower lashes. And we just wanna, yeah, put that onto our lower lashes. Now for brows, because this makeup is quite bold, I'm gonna stick with a bold brow. So I'm gonna take my Benefit Cabrow Brow Gel and just fill in my eyebrows. I do have a separate brow tutorial if you guys wanna see like in depth what I do to fill in my eyebrows. Then to set my eyebrows in place, I'm going to use the Benefit Cosmetics 24 hour brow setter and just brush that through. Next up, I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This is my all time favorite setting spray ever. And I'm just going to drown my face in this. Now all that we have left to do is our lips. So I'm going to take the Bourjois Paris Lip Liner in 11 and I'm just going to line my lips with this. I used to use the Charlotte Tilbury, I can't talk whilst lining my lips. I used to use the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk but I ran out. I love doing like nude pink lips because then when my lip product rubs off, I don't have to worry about retouching it. And then for my lip color, I usually use the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu, but I've literally used that in like three videos now. So I'm going to switch things up a bit and I'm going to try the uh, Too Faced Melted Latex Lipstick in Peekaboo. I normally just use like a nude pink gloss. No, <laughs> not that one. Okay. Let's try something else, shall we? This is what happens when I stray away from my favorite products. <laughs> So I'm just going to go in with Tiramisu by NYX. <laughs> so pretty. It tastes like cupcakes. And so this is my finished go-to glam look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also suggest some collab ideas for me and Steph to do. I'm so excited. Also remember to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't yet. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.